Rain showers are beginning to push in from southwestern Minnesota. Even a few thunderstorms mixed in there as well. It looks like we have a very good chance of seeing more rain and again a few thunderstorms tomorrow. Some pretty active weather through the weekend. And then as we hit early next week, temperatures will fall and it looks like we could be seeing a little bit of snow or rain on Monday. More on the forecast in just a second. First, our current conditions in Brainerd. It's cloudy and 54 degrees. Our dew point is at 21, humidity 27% with southeast winds at 6 miles per hour. It's cloudy and 50 in Bemidji. The dew point is at 19. Pressure is holding steady and winds are east at, nine, at excuse me, 8 miles per hour. Our temps around Minnesota tonight, we are still reporting temperatures mainly in the 50s across the state. A few locations, especially in northeastern Minnesota, a little bit cooler where we've seen temps drop into the low to mid 40s. But otherwise, we have 52 in Grand Rapids as well as Faustin, 54 in Roseau, and 54 is the current temperature as well in Little Falls. Checking in with our eagle eyes tonight, Dewey in Park Rapids, seeing mostly sunny skies. 17 was the low this morning, so again, some very chilly temperatures early on. 63, though, for our high. Josh in Fort Ripley, mostly sunny as well, 28 to start the day, 61 for the high temperature. And Dawn in Deer Lake, reporting mostly sunny skies as well. Topping out today at 62, the low this morning was 22 degrees. Looking at that almanac, Rainer today reaching a high of 62. That is well above our average high temperature of, of 53. Some cooler temperatures again this morning, 23 for the low, 801 was the sunset. Bemidji today topping out at 59, so about 8 degrees above that average high. 19 was the low, so again you can see uh, we started out very chilly across the area today. Average low temperature is 28, 805 was the sunset. Highs around the rest of the state. Mainly in the 60s today, we had 61 in Grand Rapids and Little Falls. Faustin today with a high of 64, 63 in Roseau. Low temperatures in the 20s for the most part, but again, a few teens in there as well. 20 in Park Rapids, 23 Little Falls, 25 today in Roseau. Looking at the radar picture, we are seeing some of the showers from the next weather system to impact the state, beginning to push into southwestern and now into parts of west central Minnesota. The system will continue to move to the north and east, so clouds will continue to increase across the area tonight. And showers and a few thunderstorms will develop from uh, southwest and northeast as well as we head into the overnight hours. Now we have a very good chance of seeing more rainfall throughout the day tomorrow. And a few thunderstorms could be mixed in there as well. As far as our temperatures go, it looks pretty seasonal. Maybe just a little bit above average with highs in the low to mid 50s across the northern part of the state. Central Minnesota is also looking at a very good chance of some rainfall. In fact, we can almost expect to see that rain with a few thunderstorms here and there. Mid 50s for the highs in central Minnesota. And it looks like our weather pattern will remain a little bit active as we head through the weekend and into the early part of next week, but some colder temperatures next week I mean we could be seeing a little bit of snow. So our forecast, tonight mostly cloudy with rain developing, a few isolated thunderstorms in there as well, 39 for the low and southeast winds at 10 to 25. Tomorrow the rain showers continue, isolated thunderstorms could be mixed in there as well, 53 for our high and again those southeast winds anywhere from 10 to 25 miles per hour. Looking at the weekend forecast, we continue to have a chance of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms mainly in eastern and central Minnesota on Saturday. Just a 20% chance of showers in central Minnesota on Sunday. Still very mild on Saturday. In fact, we could be seeing some highs near 70 in locations on Saturday. But those temperatures do fall early next week. And as they do, we have a chance of some rain or snow showers moving into the area Sunday night through Monday night. Still isolated rain in central Minnesota Tuesday. But you can see temperatures much colder, 38 the high on Monday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.